Hello and welcome guys to the very first episode of Choosing Beggars on this channel. Let's not waste any more time and get right into the first one. Hey, what do you play Sims on? Hi Blank, I play Sims on my gaming PC. The specs are as follows. Wow, are you rich? You must be so rich. I looked at your Twitter and found you saying that you have a Mercedes and a BMW and a Mazda. It is very rude to talk about people's money, Blank. Yes. I have had those vehicles, but not at the same time. You have all the Sims packs? Yes, I do, but my money is none of your business. Will you buy me Strangerville? Will you buy me Strangerville? My dad is in the hospital dying from a Charlie horse, and we can barely pay our bills, and we have no money. So can you buy me Strangerville? Cool kitchen, backyard, and cats and dogs. So you want me to buy you $60 worth of DLC? I don't think so, sorry, but I don't do that. I wish you the best and hope your dad can recover from his non-fatal injury that no person would have to be hospitalized for. Have a great day. Honestly, with this story, I'm just more surprised he couldn't come up with a better lie than Charlie Horse. Like, his dad is, in, is dying in hospital because of a Charlie Horse. Come on iPhone 7 Plus, 256GB, $680. Well, the phone's a gift for my son. Will he be able to come collect it? I'm willing to send you 660 and forward the receipts, etc. Sure, he would, but I only accept cash. Bet you accept birds too, you effin' bundle of sticks. Go F yourself. Whoa. You'd make a great nurse, sweetie. My industry doesn't approve abusive and offensive people like you. Have a lovely day. If you ever walked into my hospital, I'd make sure you effin' die, dog. Hey y'all, so I really need money and I'm low key wet at crotcheting. So if you want a cute top or something, HMU. I'm too scared to talk to girls, so I had to model this myself. Wow, he's not wrong. He's not bad at crotcheting. Can I have a hat? $15. I could knit it myself though. Then F and do it. I don't know about her, but I think she should pay the $15. My man here is pretty freaking good at knitting. Hello. I really want the logo with fairy in it. Hello. It would be a hundred US dollars. Why is the price so much? Question mark. I thought it would be something like 10 or 20. I'ma help you by getting someone else to buy it. And could you sponsor me? I could get you a lot of customers cause I knows a lot of people who want one. And by the way, I am rich. It's just that a hundred dollars for a logo is too bad. See the logic with these Jews and beggars is when you confront them with a price for an item or something, they always say it's too much. And then they later go on to tell you how rich they are, but they don't want to pay it. It makes a lot of sense. I'll babysit your PS4 for free. Hi, I'm looking to borrow or lend the PS4. I will babysit your PS4 and play it if you need. As long as it has Apex Legends installed. 100% serious. He is 100% serious. Nintendo Switch, $450. Is it still available? Yes, it is. I'll trade a cracked Galaxy S7. You're kidding, right? Nope, serious. I know it's a good trade, but I want a Switch. All of this cost me over 700. It is not a good deal. I'm pretty sure I would take a broken Galaxy S7 for a Switch. It seems like a good deal. Xbox One. Wanted. Someone to help me get level 50. Reward. Gratitude. And a very rare weapon called the Somerset Special. I need you to be good at the game and be at least level 200 plus. I'm level 14 and I need to get to level 50 really quickly. I need to get to level 50 in about 30 minutes, and if I don't, you need to pay me caps in compensation for every extra minute it takes to get to level 50. I may give you my very nice pistol, if I feel you deserve it, i.e. if it only takes 10 or more minutes, i.e. if it only takes 10 or so minutes. If you don't comply with all of the above, please hop along, as your comment will be ignored. So I'm pretty sure this guy's referring to Fallout 76, and he wants level 50 immediately. Hey. This guy's charging by the minute. I would I would really hurry up and help him get to level 50. Hey, Hannah, long time no talk. Hey, yeah, it's been a hot minute. Oof, how are you? I'm alright, and you? I'm doing great. Working on moving out of Texas soon. Nothing much else going on. Oh, Coolio, hey, do you still draw on stuff? Sure do. I got a new drawing tablet not too long ago, actually. A Cintiq 13 HD. It's super nice and really has helped me improve on art. That's nice. Do you think you can draw me a little something? I love your style. I'd love to get a piece from you. Hello? Hello, you there? Sorry, had to go take care of my dog. He was barking at something outside, LMAO. And yeah, depends on what you want done though. Oh, okay, I wanted a piece of my cat. He was a golden orange tabby with green eyes and white paws and stuff. He just passed away and I wanted to get a piece to remember him by. Maybe have him with angel wings flying up over a mountain with a halo on. 
You want a full background? Yes, colored and shaded and everything? Yes, thank you. Alright, that sounds pretty difficult, so I'll, it'll cost a bit, more than my normal prices. I'd say about $40 should do it, you can send it to my PayPal, and I'll start on it today. Wait, no, I can't afford that. Oh, well, since you're a friend, I can knock it down to about $30, but that's the lowest I'll go. Sounds like it'll take about 5 plus hours. So, $30 is a pretty good deal. No, I wanted you to do it for no charge, sorry. I can't spend that much money on art. Hello? Are you working on my art? No, I'm sorry man, I can't do something like that for free. 30 is the lowest I can go. Oh, well, I was just thinking you'd be nice and do it since it's my cat and he just died. Plus, plus we're friends, so why can't you just quickly doodle it up and be done with it? Sorry, but that's not quite how art works. I can't just do something for a friend for free like this. I need some sort of payment for my work. It's called a job for a reason. But if I open up my to-do list and maybe take some requests, I'll hit you up. Fine, I thought you were going to be nicer seeing I'm going through stuff, but nope. Okay. Whoa, dude, it's not that I'm not being nice, it's just I can't be clogging up my to-do list with requests when I don't have time nor energy to do them. I just said I'll text you again when I have time though, alright? Never mind, then I'll just suffer without any art of my kitty. Thanks a lot for nothing. In the choosing beggar world, they really do not want to fork over any money whatsoever. They, they expect everything for free. It is, it is utterly mind-boggling. Their thought process. I, I just don't, I don't get it. Choosing beggar at Denver airport. This happened a few weeks ago when I flew into Denver from Boston. The flight arrived late in that night and I went to the pickup area to catch a rental car shuttle. There was another guy waiting for the shuttle as well. We waited for around 30 minutes and nothing happened. I tried calling them but kept getting a we will be there in five minute response. Fed up, I decided to try and call an Uber to take me to the rental car area. The guy who was waiting with me, CB, clearly saw me working my Uber app. CB, excuse me, are you going to take an Uber to the thrifty? Me, yeah. CB, my phone died so I can't use my ride sharing app. Can I ride with you and I can give you cash for half the fare? Me, sure. The fare was like $10 and about a five minute ride so I really didn't care either way. The car arrives when we jump in, he doesn't speak a word until we get to the rental area. As soon as the car stops, he jumps out and runs to the rental counter so he can get his car before me. I was annoyed but wasn't going to run to overtake it. I stood in the line behind him and I see him fiddling with his phone. Me. I thought your phone was dead. CB. Turns around with a disgusted look. Do you mind? Please, don't look at my screen. I'm having a private conversation with my wife. Me. I don't care what you do, you owe me five dollars and even though I helped you out when you clearly did need the help, you practically jumped out of the car to get to the line. The courteous thing would have been to at least offer me the spot. I would have gladly declined. By the way, I need my five dollars. CB. I don't have any cash on me. I only deal with credit cards. Me. Too bad. You owe me five dollars. CB. I don't have any. Plus, you look like you can afford five dollars. Me. It's not about the money. You lied to get a free ride. Doesn't matter if I could afford the five dollars or not. He then proceeded to put on his AirPods and pretended not to hear me. He then got his car and was walking away. As I walked to the counter, me. You're welcome. CB then gave me the finger and walks away. The rental dude asked me what's wrong and I told him the story. He shakes his head and says he's upgrading me to a better car. I'm traveling alone for business, so I don't need a bigger car, but the gesture was appreciated. I really hope the CB finds hair in his food every single day. This guy's a total ass. He couldn't have waited a few more minutes for another Uber ride because he clearly lied about his phone being off. But I don't know, like so, so, some people are just crazy. He, he could have just waited a few more minutes or give the guy his $5 and not being an ass. What is wrong with these people? All right guys, that's gonna do it for choosing beggars today. Apologies for this episode being a little shorter, but uh, if you enjoyed, leave a like, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified of all future uploads. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.